I'm Bernie Martin. We're here at Modern Industries talking about the M-Power Speed Lock work holding system, Mod Lock tombstones, and some of the features of modular work holding at IMTS 2014. This is the Speed Lock system from Modern Industries, the M-Power product line. And what we're doing is demonstrating that the product self-extracts because the, the speed lock self-extracts and repeats within four tenths fixture to fixture, we're able to use a robot because a robot arm can come in, grab the speed lock to disengage the fixture plate from the tombstone. Again, the self-extraction part of this is probably the most important aspect of the speed lock. None of the other systems on the market do that, hence you can't use a robot. As a side benefit to that, it's not actually attached into the fixture right now. It's sitting, the robot is removing the speed locks from that. So there's no dowel pins or anything that are holding it there. It's held in with a docking station and that's the pins that you see on the top where it's dropping it into the storage. It moves over and it's going to grab the other fixture plate, set it down on the tombstone this drops at about 15 thousandths below center on the docking station, and then we just tighten them in. Now what's also nice about the speed lock is that a variety of fixturing methods, whether it's hydraulic or pneumatic, can also be used within the system. The, the mod lock tombstone that you see here has all the hydraulic connections or pneumatic connections or magnetic connections internal within this tombstone. It's a hollow tombstone technology in that it's all supported with an exoskeleton. The fixture plates are what give it the strength. So we can reduce the overall weight on the machine by using this type of structure. And then quick disconnecting all the internal clamping mechanisms that you need for automation. We, we have couplings that can fit in the bottom. So it's, it's all scaled to be the most versatile system that, that we can think of to use in modular work holding. And here you'll see the internal components. of the tombstone. So there's plenty of room inside with not a lot of overall weight. So the speed lock mounts into a series of fixture plates like this for your vertical machining center. So you can mount it and as your job grows and you want to move it to horizontal, you can bring that up to the tombstone, mount the plate on the tombstone, buy only three additional fixture plates of the same size. And if you want a square tombstone, it's the three married components here. If the job grows from four-sided and I want to go to a hexagon, I can go to a hexagon internal shape with the same fixture plates. So it allows jobs and lot sizes to grow, scale up and scale back from verticals to horizontals and back again. It can, it's also a stackable system. So this is our retrofit system, similar to other systems on the market. It projects up a little bit higher above everything. And this is our compact locator system that's flush mount. Now to put these in, there's no dowel pins or anything. It's built with a docking station. So I can put this down onto the fixture. I don't have to swing it in and try to insert something in and, and clamp at the same time. I can merely just bring it in. It's 15 thousandths below center. Now it's within four tenths repeatability. So what we found is with a lot of machinists who view this for the first time, who have fought to bring a fixture plate in on a crane, located on the dowel pins, when we set it like that, they tend to get very excited that the docking station does what it does. It's also a hollow tombstone technology, so if we wanted to convert this T-style tombstone to an L, 
we just move the mounting over to here and it's versatile. It's also, a, it's got a window in it so we can machine through to the other side if we needed to. And that, that becomes kind of important if you're doing something like this. This is our spin lock and it allows you to come in without any wires, engage it with the tool holder, or the tool holder in your machine tool spindle on a horizontal and index it five degrees. So you can do now five sides of a six-sided part. Six if you come through the middle of the hollow tombstone.